Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss on the topic near field communication or NFC. I think uh, most of you might have heard this word or it might be new to some of them. So I am going to discuss about this topic in a simple way which everyone can understand. So we can start by looking at what is NFC. So NFC or near field communication is a set of communication protocols that enables communication between two electronic devices over a distance of 4 or 4 cm or less. So as you can see in the slide, it is a wireless communication technology that works on the, the system of radio frequency identification or RFID technology. So next up, we are going to see what are the trademark or the NFC enabled devices will have certain mark on the devices which shows that that uh, devices are supported with the NFC. So as you can see, this will be the symbol that will be shown on the devices that support NFC. So next we will be looking on what are the working principles of NFC. So like other wireless signals, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, NFC that work on the principle of sending information over radio waves, near field communication is another standard for wireless data transmission, which means the devices must adhere to certain specifications in order to communicate with each other properly. So the technologies used in NFC is based on the older technology of RFID which I told you in the introduction and that uses electromagnetic induction in order to transmit information. So apart from this in simple ways I have given it in the slide that this works on the principle of RFID radio frequency and there are certain tiny chips present in it in which the wireless reader picks up the signals then the reader activates or emits a small signal which is picked by the chip and stores small amount of data in it. So in simple words, these are the basic working principle of NFC supported devices. Next up, we are going to see what are the different modes of operation. There are basically two modes, that is the passive mode and the active mode. First, let's discuss about active mode. So active mode, these are NFC mode of communication in which both devices generate an RF signal on which the data is carried. In simple words, just bringing two devices close to each other and just transferring the data. But when it comes to passive mode, the passive NFC on the other hand can only send data. However, the passive NFC provides an extra benefit. The passive devices can run without power. You can find passive NFC on all sorts of devices that need to communicate with others. For example, if there is there are ID cards that are NFC supported. So if we show it to a bus, which have an NFC active reader then a direct transmission of data happens so that the machine can identify that particular student of that particular university and the attendance etc etc can be marked in such a way so that is basically passive mode so it, we can only transmit the data we cannot receive anything that is the basic difference between the active and the passive mode now coming to the comparison of bluetooth and infrared I think any uh, most of you would be using Bluetooth, so it would be easy for us to compare. When we compare the network type uh, between NFC, Bluetooth and IR, the NFC is supported from point to point that is device to device. Bluetooth can be connected to multi points and IR is connected to point to point. When we come to the range, NFC has very less range that is less than 0.1 meter, whereas Bluetooth and IR ranges from 10 meter to 1 meter respectively. But the main advantage of NFC is that it has higher speed than Bluetooth and IR that is 1 Mbps. And the setup time and the costs are also much lesser than Bluetooth and IR which makes it much better than the Bluetooth and IR. So next up we will go going to the advantages. So th these are basic just low cost instant connection capability, no special software, no search and pair procedure. So these are just basic uh, advantages that we can see from the NFC. Disadvantages, there are not enough NFC enabled devices on market yet. So that is the biggest disadvantage that NFC is currently facing and also the range is very less as we compared in the comparison between Bluetooth and IR. When it comes to the application, there are basically three applications that is the touch and go, the touch and confirm and the touch and connect. So when it comes to touch and go, uh, it is the example that we discussed earlier that when we show a card to the bus, the bus identifies the, the bus, but the, the active reader actually identifies the data transmitted from the card and then the attendance etc etc so is marked. So that is touch and go. So we are touching the 
device and just going that is touch and go when it comes to touch and confirm it is like mobile payment which we do, which we use that is the net banking google pay etc where we have to enter certain pin and then the transaction will be processed when it comes to touch and connect uh, it is uh, it just basically we are linking to enabled nfc devices coming close to close each other and this transfer of data happens where we can download music exchange images or synchronize or address books so when it comes to the future of nfc the near field communication in the present is likely future of contactless payment and the contactless payment can be considered any method of payment that does not require a physical swipe dip or manual entry this type of payment is also frequently referred to as tap and go so nothing much but this uh, the future of nfc is very much active but for that we have to bring more nfc enabled devices which many companies will be doing in the future i hope so coming to the conclusion nfc is an efficient technology for communication with short ranges nfc is not a fashionable or nice to have technology but actually a technology that makes people's life easier easier to pay for goods services use public transport etc etc so but when we come to the con uh, conclusion nothing is this these are just as uh, advantages which we are discussing that nfc will make the life easier for people uh, the the money the use of money will be reduced and everything will become online etc so the transactions can be done online and the life will be make easier so that's what we are discussing in the conclusion so i have given certain reference link from where i have prepared my ppt so you can search it in the browsers and you can get the materials from there so that's it from the topic i hope everyone got an idea or basic or at least small idea about what is nfc what are the advantages working principle etc so that's it thank you